in that same federal court uh, building where Jacob Chansley was sentenced today to 41 months, uh, Steve Bannon was scheduled to appear tomorrow uh, for arraignment and plea. He's already submitted a guilty plea in writing tonight, uh, but there will be a uh, status meeting anyway on his case as of tomorrow. Uh, this is the this is the subpoena case that you and the January 6th committee are pursuing uh, in federal court. Uh, why is Steve Bannon at this point the only one? Uh, who is facing a criminal contempt charge when Mark Meadows has basically done the same thing that Steve Bannon has done? Well, we'll deal with some of those other cases, um, and we have some options and some tools, and clearly uh, the public saw us exercise those options with Mr. Bannon, who is someone who has just total contempt for the court system, uh, for Congress, uh, and for the presidency, and, and that's the difficult part. But what the public is seeing is that there are consequences to the actions that these individuals are taking. And uh, we would hope that anyone would follow a lawful subpoena, but clearly uh, you know, this individual and some of them are incapable of doing that. And so this was the first, uh, doesn't necessarily mean the last, but we will make sure that we're doing everything we can to continue to follow the truth and to chase the facts of what happened on January 6th and, and the lead up to that. Who funded the attack on democracy? What happened on January 5th and January 6th? Uh, those are the, the questions uh, that we want asked. It seems there are two kinds of witnesses that you're interested in. Witnesses who don't need subpoenas, some of whom have been very helpful, uh, including people who were in the Justice Department, the Trump Justice Department in the final days. Uh, and then those who need subpoenas, who must be subpoenaed in order to testify, so far, none of them have testified. The, the subpoenaed group uh, seems to be uh, in a position to just defy what this committee wants. I don't think that's accurate. Um, I think that there are individuals who have received subpoenas uh, who continue to engage and have dialogue with us. Uh, some folks uh, just want, uh, they don't want a subpoena and others are cooperative um, without one. And so those are the, the, our job, our task is to continue to ask the questions uh, in whatever manner we can to try to get to the truth. And so uh, that you saw the committee uh, put forward 16 subpoenas last week. Uh, there may be others in the future. We're going to continue to do everything we can. But if someone is willingly uh, going to come in and cooperate, we're going to give them that opportunity. And, and we know that because we've had over 200 witnesses uh, come forward. And so we continue to build the case and find out the information that we need. 